Greetings, MASL fans and lovers of indoor soccer. Hope you are all enjoying the game so far. I have the honor and privilege of getting to chat here with the commissioner of the Major Arena Soccer League, Mr. Keith Tozer. Good evening, commissioner, and welcome. Hey, Philly, how you doing? It's great to see you. Yeah, I appreciate you stopping by. Uh, you've been quite busy doing a lot of things helping this league grow, sir. Well, just recently I was in Guadalajara, which was very exciting. I had never been there before, but obviously, no, it's a fantastic soccer or slash football uh, city. Uh, we went down there because uh, I had to do my due diligence looking at the arena. The arena looks great. There is some great possibilities with the arena. It's right in the middle of a college campus. It's a huge city, a wonderful city, great management team down there, great ownership group. So hopefully on Tuesday in the board meeting, we uh, officially pass it through. I mean, from what the uh, the press release said, potentially looking to kick things off in 23-24, Dequileros FC. I mean, congratulations on this awesome expansion. I know the doctor is a big fan of this. He literally is a Dequilero within his own right, a tequila maker. Uh, talk to us about how this came about. Well, you have uh, Phil Savaggio and Shelly Clark and Mike Zimmerman who uh, saved the Orlando group. And because of that, they were able to have a membership. So uh, we, we feel that the market in, in Mexico, obviously, is extremely important. And we have wonderful teams in Chihuahua with the Savage and the Monterey Flash. So uh, they had contacts in Guadalajara, and we wanted to expand down there. And hopefully everything will go well. I think it's going to be a great franchise. I mean, so exciting. Guadalajara, obviously, a soccer-slash-football-loving city, a perfect place, and another road trip that the doctor and I certainly are looking forward to going on. Uh, Commissioner, this is the 15th team in the league. Obviously, now that's going to have things a little bit unbalanced. Can we expect the return of another franchise, potentially, or anything else new on the horizon? Well, we got to get the even numbers, right? So hopefully within the next couple of weeks, we also will have another uh, expansion membership group that's coming in. I won't say where that could be at, but that would bring us to 16, which would be maybe two conferences of eight, four divisions of four, or maybe one big group at the end of the day. Uh, we'll decide that once the season's over, but we're looking forward to that announcement also. Oh, uh, that that that's exciting. And I know that was a hot topic. Everybody initially asked about expansion when the three of you, uh, JP and Shep, came on. And obviously you're doing it now. Now, Commissioner, this has been an exciting season of indoor soccer. The games keep getting more and more competitive. The numbers on the stream keep growing. And more importantly, the attendance in a lot of these arenas have been increasing as well. Like, What are your thoughts on the growth of the league this past couple of seasons? Uh, Phil, you know, the games this season have been unbelievable. The level of, of the games, the goal scoring, the goalkeeping, uh, getting out of the back, defending, it's been awesome. As you know, they call it March Madness uh, for basketball. But this is March Madness for professional indoor soccer in the MASL. We always know the last two months, uh, once we get past the holidays, attendance always goes up. But let's take the umpire inference. 12 out of 14 games they're winning. Jeff and his organization have been doing a wonderful job in the Empire region in Southern California. Great crowd on Tuesday. And now you got the defending champ coming in. And what better matchup, Empire versus uh, San Diego? Uh, but it's going to be fantastic. We're looking forward to the end of the season. And by the way, it's really anybody's show right now. I mean, the top four or five teams can, can win the Shield. The top two or three teams in each division can win theirs. And the point total, you know, winning in overtime, only two, that one point. Uh, from not winning in, in the regulation could be the difference of walking into the playoffs or walking home. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of competitive matches, obviously open in, in, in all the conferences. So certainly looking forward to getting down to the wire. You mentioned it. Attendance has been increasing in the Empire as well. Definitely a shout out to Jeff and the, and the, and the strikers front office. A big shout out to Renee Valdez and Cindy Kyrell. Couldn't have done it with uh, without them. Now, uh, in addition to expanding the league from a franchise perspective, we're seeing more sponsors in the league. We've seen SI tickets, Sirius XM, Canela, Quentus, AccuWeather, Twitch, Flight, All Sports Data. And most recently, today at the time of this recording, the league announced a partnership with a cloud based coaching platform, Quick Tactics. Could you talk to us about the growth of the league from the sponsorship side of things? Well, we're very excited about the sponsorships. Obviously, having the owners that we have is is really important towards the growth of the league. And also the sponsors that we have are extreme, extremely important for that growth. Uh, what we wanted to do, and Phil, you and I have had this conversation many times, is we wanted to take A to Z and how could we improve on it? 
Well, part of that A to Z is is coaching education, is helping the players, uh, identifying other players for the league, like Alex Gomez. I mean, Alex Gomez, who was part of the player combine, scored uh, in his uh, debut against Baltimore. But this pro- uh, program, Quick Tactics, is a computer-based uh, program that is 3D animated that all the coaches will have uh, in our league that they can do all their training sessions. They can do telestrators on it. I mean, this is really state-of-the-art program that will help all the coaches, goalkeeper coaches, and even the players. But we also have 5,000 indoor centers around the country playing indoor soccer. This is also a wonderful program for them to use also to teach indoor soccer, as well as our lead to prepare for indoor soccer coaching education. More about that in the future. Very excited to see the continued growth of this league. And yeah, just just today, I had to reprep myself because I didn't even take quick tactics into account. So that's that's awesome. Now, you mentioned Alex Gomez. That's going to transition to my next question. I mean, the success of the MASL Combine and, and the college draft, Alex had a golasso the other day. It was fantastic. Talk to us about the upcoming uh, combines and you know how many players do we have registered at this point? Yeah, last year, you know, we had probably three hundred players total, and we we kind of dwindled it down to ninety six that actually went to the combine. Uh, the ninety six players did fantastic, as we said. Alex Gomez, by the way, give and go with the goalkeeper. Remember the goalkeeper rule, right? Give yep. and go with the goalkeeper, and then the length of the field. Right now, we have close to two hundred and fifty players have already sent in. Uh, to the website about getting more information when we announce the date, which will be sometime in October, and also to name the venue. So we're very excited about that program. Some players are already in our league. The college draft, being at the coaching uh, convention in Philadelphia, um, quick tactics coming on board. So again, the playing part of the MASL is extremely important as well as the coaching, and that's just one of the things that we're looking to improve on. And, and one of the other things that have that you, where we've seen improvements is in how the officials are getting to do their job. The, the video review, there's, from what you and I had spoke about in the past, some new technology that we're looking to incorporate. Can you talk to us a little bit about that, please? Yeah, there was a company, Sportify, that, that, that approached us, and they're in the National Hockey League and AHL. And as you know, bringing VR was very important to indoor soccer, to the MASL, for the referees to review. We brought the flags over and so on. But now... With uh, Ryan Sigich and the referees will actually have an iPad on, on the on the bench where they don't have to call up to a producer director and say rewind or go uh, forward. Uh, at Empire Stadium, they have four cameras, and we're going to do it again on uh, tonight's game where Ryan and the referees can look at the iPad, and then all four cameras will pick up, kind of like an iPhone where you can enlarge it and make it smaller. They can pick which camera. They can go forward or backwards. So it's going to be a great program. But um, Brian Bozinski, the owner of Kansas City, which they have it in their building, had called me and they said, hey, we should do this for the coaches. And I said, well, the only way we could do that, both coaches would agree to it. Called Leo, called Giuliano. They used it on the bench. So before you throw the flag, they can look at it. If they call a timeout for a restart, they can show their, hey, by the way, this is how they line up for the restart. This is how we gave up a goal. No different than NHL or the NFL. So uh, tonight's game, you'll also see that. It'll be on the bench. Cunning edge. We also have four other buildings that have it. So it's something that we're looking for in the future. I love it. I love it. Now, I know you're a busy man, and we also have a game to get back to. But uh, are there any other new and exciting things that we can look forward to? I mean, obviously, we have Tequileros, another potential franchise expansion. Uh, We talked about the combine. We talked about the technology. We talked about attendance. Anything new that we can look out for, too? Well, I I think the big big story is the playoffs. I I think the end of the regular season, the next three weeks, is going to be compelling. I mean, you got to have great goalkeeping. You're not at score goals. The key to every championship, though, Philly, as you know, is defense. Defense wins championships. I think up until the end of the regular season, it's going to be fantastic. And then we get to the playoffs. You know, the play-in game, four versus five, and then one against uh, the winner of that and two and three. I think the next five to six weeks will be fantastic. If you haven't seen it, an indoor game, make sure you go to uh, Sports Illustrated Tickets or go to your local group. Make sure you get out to a, a game uh, very soon. Absolutely. And again, t- Commissioner, thank you so much for your time. We really appreciate it. And uh, we look forward to seeing you again real soon. Thanks, Philly.